Welcome to this video guys. Let's see how we can set up Django in a virtual environment in Visual Studio Code and how we can create our first Django project and how we can run it. First, click on this file and click on open folder. So what we are doing is we are creating a project folder for our Django project. So go wherever you want to create your project. Let's say I just want to create it inside D drive and I'll call it Django web app. Okay, now click on select folder. And the contents of that folder will be shown here click on trust the authors and right now as you can see this is empty we don't have any files here so now let's install django in a virtual environment first we need to create a virtual environment for that to do that click on terminal click on new terminal and this new terminal will be created and open uh, and this directory that is our project directory will be open in this terminal so what we can do now is we can run the command that is python dash m env and give a name to your virtual environment let's call it my env hit enter and this virtual environment will be created as you can see the virtual environment folder is shown here now let's wait till this is finished uh, finished creating so when it is done this cursor will go to the next line and this will be shown again so let's wait for a while okay so once this is done what you need to do is you need to activate the virtual environment to do that type the name that you have just given to your virtual environment my env you can hit tab to auto complete this i'll hit tab and now you need to enter scripts scripts s is capital again then this uh, forward slash and then activate hit enter and this virtual environment will be activated as shown by virtual environment name in front of your directory here now we need to install Django. The command is pip install Django django hit enter and the installation has now started. Check out our brand new awesome coding modes. We've got t-shirts, hoodies, we've got stickers for laptops or notebooks, cups, bags and a lot more. Get it today from the link below. Once this is done, you will get this message successfully installed these packages and you can find Django also. Now let's create our first Django project. So the command is Django admin and then start project your project name that is Django web app and then where do you want to create this project so I want to create this project here itself that is inside Django web app so I'll just enter period or full stop hit enter and now you'll see Django web app folder and this manager pby folder is created so we have our project ready and if you want to check out the code you can see here all the urls are here and settings of file is here and this is the manage file that is used to run and debug your django code so let's run this project to run it what you do is you just type python manage.py you can hit tab to auto complete and then run server hit enter and now as you can see your server is running in this url to open it just press ctrl and then click this and now your django project is open in the web browser so we have successfully set up django in a virtual environment in visual studio code let's close this and let's let me show you how you can run this again okay if we kill the terminal now the virtual environment will also be gone you can do code and everything uh, like that you can do your code like this also but to run it what you'll do, need to do is you will again need to click on new terminal and since that session is terminated what you need to do is you need to activate the virtual environment again so as shown before you can easily do it by doing this scripts hit tab to auto complete and then activate hit enter and again the command is python managed by run server hit enter and your code changes will be visible in the website here okay now you cannot uh, you can just start coding here itself without doing anything and the code changes will be dynamically shown here once you save the file okay you don't need to stop it and start it again no need to do that just start coding and the changes will be shown here if the server is running like this okay if you have any questions let me know in the comments below